Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books and marketing expert covering college students panic after being secretly recorded. Let's get into the story. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys. A college student walks up to a vending machine and they see this. Inventa vending facial recognition app.exe application error. They take a picture of it and then post it in their Reddit group for their college. Hey, so why do the stupid M&M machines have facial recognition? That starts an investigation by a student who's an investigative journalist. And then they publish this story on Math News. The M&M machines are watching you. It's a good article. It's got a lot of information on it. And then the story because of this article starts to blow up. From Wired, a vending machine error revealed secret face recognition technology. A student investigation at the University of Waterloo uncovered a system that scanned countless undergrads without consent. And from Futurism.com, students horrified when error message appears on vending machine reveals something dark. It's watching you. From Ars Technica, vending machine error reveals secret face image database of college students. And even on CBC News, vending machines had eyes all over this Ontario campus until the students wised up. Questions raised on Reddit led to all 29 machines being removed. At least the college has promised to remove all 29 machines. It seems like they haven't been removed just yet. An Ontario university is pulling dozens of vending machines that were tracking the age and gender of customers in the latest example of pushback against technology that tests the boundaries of privacy rules. The move comes amid opposition from University of Waterloo students who became aware of the technology after a Reddit user spotted an on-screen error message on one of the machines earlier this month about an apparent problem with its facial recognition program. Quote, the natural question that follows there is, why does it have a facial recognition app? How can this error even exist, said River Stanley, a fourth-year computer science and business student who broke the story in the campus journal Math News. The university says it is asked that all 29 machines from the Switzerland-based company Invenda be removed as soon as possible and that the software be disabled in the meantime. But we thank our students for bringing this matter to our attention, said university spokesperson Rebecca Elming. She did not, however, respond to a follow-up question from CBC News about whether the university was planning to change its procurement process if machines with facial analysis technology were showing up unbeknownst to administrators. So they're asking, how are you going to change your process to make sure this never happens again? Invenda says the machines use facial analysis, not facial recognition software, and that it's not storing data or photos. But if they can record the photos, they can pass the photos on to someone who is storing the photos and utilizing that information. Invenda also promotes itself as a big data company. From a recent press release from Invenda, automated retail innovator Invenda raises $7.59 million for global growth. They talk about raising money. They talk about their investors. They're doing business with Mars. They're doing business with Minute Maid Park, Coca-Cola, and others. And here they speak specifically about them focusing on big data projects. Invenda Group AG was founded in 2017 by CEO John Brzezinski. It specializes in the development of software and hardware for automated retail such as vending machines, kiosks, digital signage, as well as complementary sales promoting marketing concepts. And big data projects. What are big data projects? Big data projects deviate from traditional business intelligence in that organizations need a more aligned top-down business technology strategy that continuously explores ways to maximize the return on data, monetize data assets by introducing new products and services, and improve business operations. Big data is in tourist behavior analysis, anomaly detection in cloud servers, big data cybersecurity, medical insurance fraud detection, search engine utilization, traffic control, crime detection, data visualization, health status prediction, it's all over the place. They're in the business. They're promoting out on press releases that they're in big data projects. Obviously, they're getting their big data from their vending machines. So they can't really pretend they're not using the information they're collecting. The company says its technology is mainly used to tell when a person is standing in front of a vending machine and to change the screen from standby mode, which shows ads, to sales mode, which shows different products. Critics say that explanation isn't good enough and that consumers should know whether or not they're being watched and being given the choice to opt in. Quote, there was no camera marking on these vending machines at all, said Stanley. 
So if you're standing in front of the machine, you have no idea. There's no marking saying, hey, you may be being recorded or you are being recorded. It's just hidden. Stanley investigated further, contacting the vending machine operator and Invenda, and published a story that was later picked up in multiple outlets. Approximately 100 Invenda machines have been shipped to Canada, the company said, although it's not clear if all of them have been installed. These machines are expensive. If they ship the machines, somebody's using them. No one from Invenda was available for an interview, a spokesman said, but in an email, the company emphasized that its software is used for people detection and facial analysis, not facial recognition, though the company's CEO has previously referred to it as facial recognition in a 2020 promotional video. Well, people detection solely identifies the presence of individuals, whereas facial recognition goes further to discern and specify individual persons, the statement said. The machines can only determine if an anonymous individual faces the device for what duration and approximates basic demographic attributes unidentifiably. The company said those basic demographic attributes include age and gender, information one privacy advocate says would help retailers decide which products are most likely to sell. Quote, no point putting products in the vending machine that aren't going to sell, take up space, and just cost money to throw out when they're stale, said Sharon Polsky, president of the Privacy and Access Council of Canada. Quote, from a business perspective, it makes absolute sense. Okay, sure. I mean, you know, there's all sorts of utilization for data. You could certainly resell the identities of the people buying the data if you want to make additional money on that. And all these companies are in business to make money and to some extent control the world. But that doesn't make it fair for consumers. If it's just about what products are selling, they don't need a camera for that. They could record the information and send it through the internet. The technology is not currently common in Canada, the Canadian Automatic Manufacturing Association said in a statement. So that's nice. They're just experimenting on college students. As retailers become hungrier for consumer insights and technology becomes better able to deliver those insights, retail analyst Doug Stevens says it's unlikely that even a significant consumer backlash will stop other companies from trying similar tactics. Quote, the genie is kind of out of the bottle here, said Stevens, founder of The Retail Profit. I don't see this technology as being something that's simply going to go away. Stanley, the student, likened the situation to the real estate company Cadillac Fairview's use of similar technology in directory displays in some of its malls. That company advanced a similar argument in its defense that it used the technology to monitor foot traffic patterns and predict demographic information about mall visitors. A joint investigation by the federal Alberta and British Columbia privacy commissioners found in 2020 that while Cadillac Fairview collected, quote, numerical representations of faces suitable for facial recognition, there was no evidence it used these representations to identify specific people. But if it collects the data, it can then sell it to someone else. I mean, you can do an image search on Google and get incredibly high quality matchups from facial recognition. And that's just what's generally available to us for free in an image search on Google. But investigators took issue with how the images were stored and said the company did not obtain meaningful consent from consumers ahead of collecting their images. Cadillac Fairview said it stopped using the technology. Polsky, for her part, wants to see a similar investigation into the Invenda machines and stricter privacy legislation overall. She also applauded the University of Waterloo students for figuring out the software embedded in their vending machines. Quote, it's terrific that people are noticing these affronts to our privacy and not just shrugging their shoulders and saying, not a big deal. The Math News students did an amazing job on this article. The m, &M machines are watching you. In Math News 154.2, Lars Newtbar wrote of Tucker Carlson's obsessive hatred of modern day m &Ms. The article was excellent, but surely Tucker Carlson's rants about m &Ms being a symbol of the downfall of freedom are entirely unfounded, right? No, the m and machines are watching you. Tucker Carlson did go on about m ms from AV Club. Fox News is concerned about the moral and political implications of m ms Again, they're mocking him. In Salon, Tucker Carlson is once again enraged by woke m ms lack of sex appeal. From The Independent, m ms have caved to Tucker Carlson, proving corporate America was never on our side anyway. Here's what Tucker Carlson actually said. Quote, m ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous, until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal, he raged at the time. When you're totally turned off, we've achieved equity. They've won. This is when the m, &M with the high heel shoes was temporarily changed to wearing sneakers. Tucker Carlson didn't like that. I didn't like it either. The idea is not about being attracted to m &Ms. The idea is, you know, stop trying to make everything androgynous 
it's okay for genders to have differences. But Tucker Carlson was right, something was wrong. Something was very wrong. On Saturday, February 10th at 8.16 p.m., Reddit user SquidKid47 posted a picture of a strange error message found upon one of the ubiquitous canary yellow M&M machines. Inventa Vending Facial Recognition App EXE Application Error. Who are the companies involved and what do they want with your face? What exactly are these vending machines doing and who is responsible? Math News investigative journalist Firsty contacted Plant Ops, who claimed zero involvement with the vending machines. This leaves operational responsibility with the company operating the machines, Adaria Vending Services. Adaria does not make the machines. First, they determined the machine's original manufacturer to be Invenda Group, an organization boasting intelligent vending machines with data collection capabilities. Some data collection is benign, including sales and user interface performance metrics. But Adaria can also use these machines to collect further data, sending it to relevant parties, including Mars, the manufacturer of M&Ms. And in particular, Inventa's sales brochures state the machines are capable of sending estimated ages and genders of every client. And it sounds familiar. Cadillac Fairview's demographic data collection affair. Six years ago, Cadillac Fairview, owner of landmark shopping malls across Canada, became mired in controversy when the CBC discovered them to be using facial recognition software on unsuspecting patrons. Across eight weeks, they collected data on over 5 million patrons using secret cameras hidden within their mall's informational kiosks. So here's the response from Adaria Vending Services when contacted by Math News. Well, what's most important to understand is that the machines do not take or store any photos or images, and that an individual person cannot be identified using the technology in the machines. The technology acts as a motion sensor that detects faces, so the machine knows when to activate the purchasing interface never taking or storing images of customers. In partnership with Mars and Invenda, these machines are fully GDPR compliant and are in use in many facilities across North America. And when they say North America, yep, they're talking about the United States as well. At the University of Waterloo, Adaria manages last mile fulfillment services. We handle restocking and logistics for the snack vending machines. Adaria does not collect any data about its users and does not have any access to identify users of these vending machines. Although Adaria may not personally collect data from the machines, that does not prevent Invenda from collecting demographic information. Neither does it prevent Invenda from sending this information to M&M's manufacturer, Mars. That would mean Mars could start to develop a database of the actual faces, identities, names, information about the customers who are actually buying their M&M's. They could then utilize that information to direct marketing campaigns directly to people online, in person, in other shopping experiences like grocery stores, there's a lot they can do with this data. A contradictory response came from Invenda. As the producer of the Invenda IoT solution, the Invenda smart vending machine and its associated software, we formally warrant that the demographic detection software integrated into the smart vending machine operates entirely locally. It does not engage in storage, communication, or transformation of any imagery or personally identifiable information. The software conducts local processing of digital image maps derived from the USB optical sensor in real time without storing such data on permanent memory mediums or transmitting it over the internet to the cloud. They go on to say, it is imperative to note that the Inventa software does not possess the capability to recognize any individual's identity or any other form of personal information. Further, Inventus smart vending machines and its software are compliant with the general data protection regulation and equivalent data privacy policies. On an attached fact sheet, they also state that only the final data, namely presence of person, estimated age, and estimated gender, is collected without any association with an individual. The document continues. Back to Inventa clients exclusively obtained anonymized analytical outcomes such as usage frequency within specific demographic trends, sales, statistics, etc., Answer, clients are furnished with anonymized data analysis. While Adaria claims the machines take no images of customers and has no demographic imaging capabilities, Inventa contradicts them in saying they do. However, relevant data is only used locally. In the Cadillac Fairview investigation, Cadillac Fairview initially claimed their system did not store facial recognition data. Only through the investigation was it discovered that their vendor kept a database containing facial embeddings of over 5 million non-consenting Canadians. So caution is warranted. So what can be done about this? When the investigation concluded, Cadillac Fairview agreed to delete all information it had gained from the program. That was the limit of their punishment. Although the Personal Information Protection and Electronic Documents Act 
provides the ability to enforce fines on lawbreakers, no such measures were taken. We are not so powerless. The University of Waterloo is an institution within which you have power. University administration often sounds deaf to our wants, but often it is because there are needs they must counterbalance to our demands. No one needs M&M's cameras. Students can ask that the university administration bar facial recognition vending machines from campus. Adarias and vending machines can secretly read students' biometric data without their consent. With no consent, the M&M's machine's facial recognition follows in the footsteps of historical open violations of Canadian privacy law. And we see, of course, it's not just college students. Facial recognition issues are everywhere. Police use of facial recognition is sweeping the UK. This new autonomous drone for cops can track you in the dark. FBI agents are using facial recognition without proper training. The surveillance system that tracks inmates down to their heart rate. Facial recognition software led to his arrest. It was dead wrong. Get used to face recognition in stadiums. I think my face was deep faked into a Chinese camping stove ad. Iran says face recognition will ID women breaking hijab laws. Algorithms quietly run the city of DC and maybe your hometown. What the students in this college did was great. They stood up for themselves. They started talking about it on social media. It's another one of these great stories with a really positive outcome. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Always love to see your ideas. Please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.